Getting to Chibok is still very risky, so the Nigerian military fires warning shots to ward off potential attackers. Danger can be lurking anywhere, but people still travel here anyway. In the town, the mood is a mixture of joy and of sadness since the girls were set free. After three years, the Peter Aji family can afford to smile. Their daughter is one of the 82 girls released by Boko Haram. Since the announcement, well wishes continue to pour into their home. Our joy no no about. For three years we haven't seen her. We're just waiting for the day we meet her. But for Bamala Abogu, the heartbreak and agony of waiting continues. His daughter is still one of the girls unaccounted for. Life has stopped for me. I rather die. I contemplated suicide. Every time I see girls high age, I woke up to them hoping it is her. I will only have closure if I'm certain she's dead. This is a school where the 276 girls were taken. Reconstruction work is still going on. It's the only school serving Chibok and dozens of other communities. Many are eagerly waiting for it to reopen. But for now, it stands as a monument and a reminder of that night in April 2014 that changed Chibok forever. Kelu Ibrahim has met her daughter three times since she was freed last October. She heard the girl is now in school. She's still with the officials. I really want to see her and stay close. But I understand the government is helping her with her education. So I must wait. The army tries to reassure communities that they won't allow another mass abduction. They should feel safe. They should feel uh, that uh, their security is guaranteed. We do not um, envisage that uh, the Boko Haram will um, disrupt any of their farming activities in those, in those general areas. But with Boko Haram still attacking, many would want to see an end to the conflict before returning home. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Chibok.